Hey guys, so we are going to go over just a couple quick hints on your differential equations quiz. Um, first thing, remember that when you are doing a fraction, okay, it does not matter if you group the negative with the top or the bottom. So for part B, this isn't really particularly important. Remember, for the equation of a tangent line, you just need a point and a slope. Okay, that part you should be comfortable with. But when you get to part C, if you want to take the second derivative of this, okay, you're going to need to use quotient rule. So the way that I would break that up is I would break that up as negative 2x on top and y on bottom. So that that way down here when you do quotient rule, you can break your derivative up. So it's going to be high as negative 2x and ho is going to be y. Well then d high, the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2, d ho is dy dx. Okay, now the next thing I want to point out to you is that it says in terms of x and y. So when I write my derivative, I'm not going to be able to leave this dy dx here. I'm going to have to change it. So it'll be d squared y dx squared equals, and then it's ho d high, so that's negative 2y minus, then high d ho would be negative 2x dy dx over ho squared is y squared. Now, I would change this double negative here to both be a plus. And then remember, to meet the in terms of x and y expectation, we need to switch that dy dx out for what the original was, okay, which was negative 2x over y. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 2y plus 2x, negative 2x over y, y squared. And remember, you can leave it just like that. Then it says to determine whether your tangent line in part B is over or under the actual value. Well, then I need to find d squared y dx squared at my point was 1, negative 1. Now, keep in mind that when you plug in, you have your x and your y. Okay, but your dy dx is going to be your answer from your slope up here in part B. Okay, then for your part C, it says to find the particular solution. Remember that you are going to need to separate first. So if my equation is dy dx equals negative 2x over y, remember that I'm going to rewrite that like this. So that the negative is kind of tucked into the top so that when I separate, my y is going to move over here, my dx is going to move over here. So your separated form, your y, even though it started off on the bottom, it's going to end up y dy. And then on the other side, you're going to have negative 2x dx and then integrate on both sides. Now notice, neither of those sides are going to need u sub, so that's good news for you. Okay, then when you get down to part E, it asks for domain. Remember that um, you can't have all real numbers for square roots and for natural logs. So one of those you're going to end up with in your answer. Um, you can look at your notes if you don't remember that kind of stuff, okay? Also, for the slope field on this one, I kind of skipped over that. Um, you shouldn't really need the slope field generator, um, but keep in mind that when I plug in x here, no matter what number my y is, if my x is 0, that's going to make all these flat. And then you'll notice that here, there are no dots. These are left blank. The reason why is because if I plug in a point where my y value is 0, so for example, this is 1, 0, that's going to give me a divided by 0. Those are all undefined. And remember, for undefines, you leave them blank. Okay? All right. Good job.